guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we are going to be messing around with the Nemo Labs, the NVX 5040 CNC machine. I'm really excited because what I did was I ordered from them for accessories. All right, so right here, I gotta be honest with you, I actually forgot what I ordered. There's two of them. I've had these for probably three to four weeks. I did get the, the fourth axis, it's called. It's like a mini lathe. I think this thing is gonna be pretty awesome. Uh, I've never used one before, but I've always been really intrigued on the fourth axis rotary module kit. Uh, so we got that. Over here, we've got the, the MPG controller. Basically, this is a little controller that you can control your RPMs and stuff like that, evidently, on your spindle when it's in use. So I got that. This is basically all the accessories available from them. In this box, I don't remember what I got here, but here, we got the Nemo Labs laser. This is the 10 watt diode laser. I have a lot of lasers and I just really wanted to try out their Nemo Labs laser. I'm super excited to hook that up and give that a whirl. You'll take off your spindle and you'll just directly mount onto this your laser. So I'm assuming it just connects to there like that and then just connects directly onto the um, gantry for the machine, the CNC machine. So we'll put this back in here. I think I remember what this one is, which this is going to be probably my favorite most used part that I ordered. This is actually the dust shoe. Now they have a really cool dust shoe where their dust shoe is stationary. So what happens is the spindle goes up and down inside of the dust shoe like this, but the dust shoe doesn't move up and down with the spindle. So you can set your dust shoe perfectly to the depth or just to the top of your wood. And as it's getting deeper and deeper, it's not really mashing the, br the bristles of the dust shoe into the wood. So I really like this uh, feature on this. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. I'm gonna grab a knife real quick. So here is the dust shoe right here. And like I said, the spindle will go up and down into this right here. So this kind of connects to all of these little parts. And then you have your vacuum hose, which connects up to that. Uh, let's just go ahead and get this thing hooked up real quick because this is gonna be permanently attached to the unit. It actually has a nice small surface area right here which is really good because you're not gonna lose a lot of that suction from a big, fat, wide open dust shoe. This is gonna be really nice. So what we're doing before we even open this up right here, let's go ahead and get this connected up. All right, now you can see I have the bracket all put together and I decided to switch out these screws to the short ones so that they weren't sticking out and impeding into the uh, uh, spindle or anything like that. Nothing to worry about. So now we are all hooked up here. Let's go ahead and bring this over to the machine and get it, uh, get it installed onto the uh, 5040. All right, guys, now what we're going to do is we're going to take the dust shoe and we're going to install it to the back of the gantry up and down so this is the z-axis so let's go ahead and you take your allen key screws like this and now you're just going to place them in we're going to just put it in any position this is you're going to be able to adjust this as you go so if you're putting a larger piece of wood or a thinner piece of wood you can adjust this accordingly so let's go ahead and get these installed okay and now what we're going to do is this side over here. Get in here a little bit better. Let's take our Allen key and let's go ahead and get this tightened up. So now what I'm going to show you is when you put this on, this is going to be the dust shoe right here. Just like that. Now what's going to happen is when I move Now when I move the Z-axis up and down, the only thing that's gonna move is the actual spindle itself and not the... So as this moves around... Such a cool feature because now this is staying on the plane of the wood the whole entire time 
and it's not jamming down like this super tight. You could just set this up. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's get a piece of wood and then we'll adjust it accordingly. So now when I go ahead and move my Z axis down, it's gonna basically line up right inside that. Let's go ahead and pretend that it's cutting at uh, one minute in intervals. It's just gonna keep going down, but the dust shoe does not move. It stays in that same position and your bristles do not jam up into that. So you can adjust that accordingly. So this can be adjusted all the way up. There's multiple uh, screw holes that they pre planned for this so it's a really great design uh, that they went ahead and did so with that being said let's go ahead and now move on to step two which is installing the hose adapter All right guys, there it is. That is the Nemo Labs dust shoe for the CNC. I got this on the 5040 machine. I really do like this little clamp right up here. It allows that hose to kind of move around freely without dragging all over the place. So kind of cool little added feature that you don't see with many other uh, CNC uh, units, but uh, pretty awesome right there. All right, that's a win. Check it out, there it is. Um, actually, this thing worked out really good. Very little dust uh, got out and got free. As a matter of fact, this is probably one of the best dust collector uh, shoes that I've seen because nothing really got on the outside. It really was nice and tight. Uh, very little on the tracks right here. So great little dust shoe. I like the fact that it does go up and down. Uh, does not go up and down with the motor that way it stays flush all the time because what happens when that does happen there is a space at the beginning and then it slowly goes down into that piece of wood because otherwise it's going to be jamming those bristles right into that wood every single time and ruin the dust shoe so great little dust shoe. all right guys now that you saw me cut out this hexagon piece using the new dust shoe with the nemo labs Absolutely awesome dust shoe, worked out perfect. Virtually no dust escaped from the bottom of the wood from that. So now that you saw that, let's go ahead and move on to the second uh, accessory that I got, which is right here. This is the tool that I really did not know that I needed until just now. This thing is actually really awesome. I was kind of afraid by plugging it in that I wasn't gonna be able to use it using easel or the computer. I thought it was gonna override kind of like the offline controller does. It's either one or the other with an offline controller. You have to have your offline controller switch in that position. And if you don't and you're using your PC and it's in the offline controller, a bunch of bad things can happen. Your machine can go haywire, lose connection, and it just goes absolutely nuts. So make sure you do that. But with this MPG, you can leave it in the computer mode and still control your XYZ fourth axis uh, in any position right off the bat. This thing is awesome, check it out. It's just a little controller that, like I said, you plug it in to the side of your controller box and it has this long uh, cord right here that you can use. That way you can um, reach wherever you wanna go and go from there. So let's just say hypothetically, you want to move your axis over you can't just move it when it's plugged in or even really when it's not plugged in because you have to turn these knobs to kind of adjust it accordingly. You don't have to do that. With this, you can just control it manually and it's very, very easy to use. It's plug and play and this little wheel controls it for you. There are speeds. I thought that was, I, I don't know if that's millimeters or just the speed. I think it's millimeters, one millimeter, 10 millimeters and 100 millimeters. I'm not exactly sure if that's exactly what it is. I'd have to measure it uh, upon movement. But let's just say hypothetically, 
you are really high up and you don't want to wait and you just want to control it using this and kind of move it out of the way so that you can put your waste board down or put your piece of wood down without having to go to your computer and controlling it this way you just have this unit right here it's got a little hook that you can hook it on it actually comes with a mounting bracket i am super excited about this thing I really did not know I needed this until now, and I believe you do too. You need to get an MPG for your CNC machine. It just makes it so much easier to control. All right, let me just go ahead and show you how this thing works. Uh, so let's go ahead and just control the X axis right now, and let's move it in um, any direction, and we're gonna move it in just a medium speed. So you, if you can see real closely behind me, this is moving on the gantry in that position. So if I'm moving my wheel to the right, it's gonna move your item to the right. Let's do it in a really fast motion so you can see it on camera. We're gonna put, put it to uh, X100. Check that out. Automatically moves it. Now let's go back the other direction. You can put it in that direction. So let's just say hypothetically I have a piece of wood that I want to glue in and um, Let's say my gantry's in the home position, give or take, and I want to glue this down and it's in the way and I don't, you know, I can't, I got to move this, come over to the computer and move everything out of the way. Now with this thing hooked up, you don't have to mess with any of that. You just kind of move it over. Let's go ahead and go back. And now my gantry is completely out of the way. That way I can put this down and go from there. The other thing that it comes with is this really cool mounting bracket. It's just a simple bracket and it attaches with this little hanger right here and it's magnetic so it doesn't flip flop around. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna mount it to the front of my desk right in front where the CNC machine is only because when I need it, it's gonna be handy at all times. You could put it wherever you want, but uh, me, I'm just gonna put it right here and let it hang. That way I don't have to fumble around for it or anything like that. Let's go ahead and do it. So now I can just take that, hang it up, and it's good to go. Awesome. All right guys, so what I decided to do is we are not gonna open up the fourth axis in this video. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a separate video that's gonna be completely dedicated to this fourth axis. And we're gonna try it out, test out some test files that I got from Nemo Labs to give it a whirl. Because like I said, it is like a mini lathe and this box alone probably weighs about 20 pounds. So it is a very heavy duty unit. The other thing is the laser. We're not gonna do a video on the laser. We're gonna do a separate dedicated video on testing out and installing that. So if you want to check it out, go down below, hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell button. That way you get notified of all of my newest videos because that is where we're gonna do this right here. I have some cool things I wanna try to make with this. I really wanna try to make a chess set and make some small chess pieces but I gotta figure out how to do that because I have no clue. I'll put some links in the description if you wanna check them out. Go check out Nemo Labs, really top-notch machine, very good customer service as well. If you have any issues, I can attest that they will fix it. I have partnered with them to help them out with somebody in the past that was having issues and Nemo Labs stepped up and sent them a brand new machine. Really good company. All right, guys, that is it. Until that next video, make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you like and subscribe because I will be putting out a completely dedicated video to the fourth axis. I can't wait to try it out. As a matter of fact, after this video ends, I'm pretty much going to mess with it right now and create that video now. So it should, it's going to be coming out real soon. All right, y'all. See you on the next video. Stay awesome. Bye.